Two stunningly preserved, 52-million-year-old bat skeletons unearthed in Wyoming are the oldest ever found and belong to a never-before-seen species, researchers have revealed. The rare fossils were discovered in the Green River Formation in the southwest of the state. The newfound species was slightly smaller than the closest known related bat species, Icaronicteris index, and could easily fit into a human hand with its wings folded against its body. When I first saw the first skeleton, I immediately thought it was different, lead author Tim Rietbergen, a bat paleontologist and collection manager at the Naturalis Biodiversity Center in Leiden, the Netherlands, told Live Science in an email. Because they are found lower in the stratigraphy, sediment layers, compared to other fossil bats, they represent the oldest skeletons. They belong to a never-before-seen species of Icaronicteris, which they named I. gunnelli after the late bat biologist Greg Gunnell. After comparing the measurements with other bats, it clearly stood out as being a different species, Rietbergen said. I got super excited, and was wondering, that perhaps the bat diversity from the early Eocene was much higher than we thought. The scientists also detected a sister relationship with the only other recorded species of Icaronicteris in North America, I index, which means that they are each other's closest known relatives. Detailed scans of the fossils suggest that I gunnelli weighed less than an ounce, 22.5 to 28.9 grams, which is about the same body mass as I index, even though the latter was probably slightly larger. The discrepancy between the reconstructed weight and wingspan could be due to the deformation of bones during fossilization, according to the study. This newly described species is considered as one of the oldest known articulated bat skeletons, providing novel insight into the phylogeny of our earliest bat fossils. Emma Teeling, a professor of zoology at University College Dublin in Ireland who did not participate in the research, told Live Science in an email. However, there are still phylogenetic questions that can only be resolved by recovering more well-defined and complete bat fossils. Based on their analysis, the researchers think that Green River bats evolved independently from other Eocene bats. There is still a lot that we don't know, Rietbergen said. Once we have a good view on the bat diversity, we can study evolutionary adaptations and perhaps find hints that will bring us closer to the discovery of the ancestor of bats. So that was all for today's video. Let us know what you think about it in the comments section and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time. Until then, take care.